Hey guys, it's me, King Boxing Nerd, with another video. Today, um, I started thinking of a fight that's coming up this coming Saturday, and I was like, well, I'm already thinking ab about this fight and how it might, you know, hap how it might unfold, how it may unfold this Saturday. I'm like, why not talk about it with you guys? Um, Jaime Munguia is set to fight a fighter called, well, his last name is Ballard. Don't really know much about him. All I know is that he's undefeated. And uh, I started to think of Jaime Munguia's career, uh, where it's at at this point, and why it hasn't progressed. Let's not forget he burst into the scene by defeating uh, Saddam Ali, becoming a world champion. And then he had a good streak going for him, knocking guys out. And then, I'm not sure what happened that he was still winning, but he wasn't looking good anymore. And then when the, the big names came up, he wanted them, but it felt like his team was kind of shielding, shielding him away from those names because they, feel, they felt like he was not ready, basically. Is he still ready? That's my question. Um, one thing I will say though, Jaime Munguia is a come forward aggressive fighter that wants to rip your head off. That's the style that works for him. All they had to do was work on his jab and make sure that he establishes a jab so he can land his money shot, his right hand. That's all they had to do. Work on the jab, make sure that he throws the jab effectively, and once he unloads his punches, bring your guard up right away. Those were the flaws that they had to work on, but his team wanted to make him a more technical fighter, and that confused the hell out of them because you're asking a brawler to become a boxer. They wanted to make him a Jermel Charlo, but you can teach an old dog new tricks, basically, and uh, I think that's where they went wrong, and that's probably the reason why, guys, his career's been on halt as far as the big names go. Um... If Ballard is watching this video, good luck to you this coming Saturday. And I will say this, he has a good shot of winning this, this Saturday. Why? Because there's a, an important factor right now is that his main coach, Eric Morales, right now is not in the best place mentally to focus on him because he has other personal issues that he's going through he recently lost his son and his longtime enemy which you know became his new friend through their because of because the wife started getting along with their families I'm talking about marco antonio barrera um they had a podcast it was very successful and a lot of people would tune in, including myself. Very entertaining. It was just mind-blowing that these guys who hated each other's guts became friends. And it was all too beautiful, I guess. It was all too good to be true, basically. But, you know, it's kind of like if Scorpion and Sub-Zero... <laughs> well, you know, for you guys who know who, what I'm talking about, Mortal Kombat. It's kind of like if they become buddies after their, their rivalry. And they try to have a normal life as friends. Well, that can only go so far. It just takes one thing. One thing for all feelings to resurface. For any, any one of them to turn against the other. And that's exactly what happened. And that's what happened. You know? So... With all those factors that I'm telling you guys, I don't think Eric Morales is focused on Munguia right now. And Munguia is feeling the pressure of fighting a big name. You know? 
making a big fight. So, plus, what I what I told you that he has this thing where he's not sure what style to bring to the table, and I I, I always say, you know what made you a world champion what got you to that point that style is what works for you you just all you gotta do Jaime is work on throwing enough jabs and bringing your guard up when you unload your punches alright this was King Boxing Nerd please like and subscribe and like comment down below let me know what you guys think about what I just said catch you guys later